you everyone i hope you all are doing well today i am bringing you a very beginner level sudoku puzzle these are very interesting creative mind games i hope you enjoy doing them so let's start with 4 by 4 grid sudoku the first and foremost basic concept of sudoku is that each the sum of each row and the sum of each column is same like if you add first row or if you add third column then the sum of both of these should be same apart from that no number should be repeated in any column or any row let's start how are we going to solve this you know puna see uh, if we look at the fourth row and third column in third column i can see 3 and 4 are already used so either i can have one or two here or i can have one or two here but as we already have two in the fourth row therefore this two will not come here right otherwise two will get repeated in the fourth row okay so two will not come here and as two cannot come here therefore the number which will come here is 1 and the number which will come here as one has come here so number which will be coming here will be 2 so this is how we have solved the third column of the sudoku now this is 1 2 3 and 4 now let's move on to the second row okay this is 1 3 now in second row if the numbers 1 and 3 are already used what are the numbers remaining numbers which i have to put this can have 2 or 4 in a similar manner this can have 2 or 4 right but now look at the fourth column can i have 2 here no i cannot have 2 here why i can't have 2 here because 2 is already here and if i put 2 here then 2 is going to repeat itself in fourth column and we can't do that so two will not come here and if two will not come here what will come there the number which will be coming there is going to be four the number which is going to come here is going to be four and now as four is coming here so four cannot come here so the number which is going to come here is going to be two right so this is 1 2 3 4 2 3 4 1 1 now let's try to solve first column oh sorry first row let's try to solve our first row 3 and 2 are already used so what are the numbers which can come here either 1 can come here or 4 can come here again either 1 can come here and 4 can come here but can 4 come in the first row last Right? Can four come in this block? No, four cannot come in this block. Why four cannot come in this block? Because four is already coming in the fourth column. And if I put four here, then this four is going to repeat itself in this column. So the number which will be coming here is going to be one. And if one is coming here, what is going to come here? Definitely four is going to come here. So this becomes four. Okay. Now just look at the last column. Okay. I have one. I have four. I have two. What I do not have? I do not have three. So I can put three here. I can definitely put three here because that was the only number missing in the fourth column. Okay. So this is now we only have these four more blocks which we have to. If I look in the third row, I can see the number three and four are already used. So I have to use the number one and two. Now it is pretty obvious where two will be coming and where one will be coming. You can clearly see that two cannot come here in this block. Why? Because just above it, two is already there, and you can't repeat two in this column. In the similar manner, one is just above this. right just above this block one is there and if i put one here then the number is going to repeat itself 
which we cannot do. Therefore, the values for these blocks will be what? This will be 1 and this will be 2. Right? Therefore, this will be 1 and this will be 2. Now, 1 and 2 are there. The, I am talking about the last row now. 1 and 2 are already there. So, what has to come here? Either 3 will come here or 4 will come here. In the similar manner, either 3 will come here or 4 will come here. But, can I see? See, the second column already has 4 in it. And as the second column already has 4 in it, therefore, 4 cannot come here. Otherwise, 4 is going to repeat itself in this row, which we cannot do. So, the number which will be coming here is going to be 3, right? And the number which is going to be here is going to be 4, okay? Now, let's see. Is the sum same in each row and in each column? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, the sum of first row is 9. Second row, 2 and 3, 3, 3, 6. I'm sorry, 3, 4, 3, 7, 8, 9 and 10. The sum of first row is not 9. The sum of first row is 10. By mistake, I told you, 9. Now, see the second row. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 4, 10 again. 2, now third row. 2 plus 1, 3. 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 3, again 10. Let's go to fourth row. 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 1, 8. 8 plus 2, 10. In a similar manner, let's look at the columns. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. And 6 plus 4 is 10. Let's, uh, let's look at second column now. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 1, 7. 7 plus 3, 10. Third column, 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 4, 9. 9 plus 1, again 10. And fourth column, 1 plus 4, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 2, again 10. So can I see that the sum of each row and the sum of each column is equal? And that is equal to 10. And you can clearly see this is 3, 1, 2, 4, 3, 4, 2, 1. Is any number repeating in this row or in this column? No. In this similar manner, you can check each and every row and each and every column and no number is repeating in either row or either column. So this is how we have to solve our basic pseudocodes. Now pseudocodes are of all kind. This is a very basic beginner level pseudocode which will just help you to understand how we have to approach these kind of puzzles. I hope this Sudoku is clear to you. If you have any doubts, please mention it in comment section and do subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.